What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here, talking today about the PlayStation 5 because somebody just accidentally posted a bunch of screenshots onto the internet of the PlayStation 5 system menus. And the reason this is important is because it finally gives us our first real look at the raw storage space of the PlayStation 5. And the reason I'm making this video is because it's surprisingly tiny. Now, I wasn't sure what to expect, but one of the main concerns I had going into the next generation is storage space, because one of the primary things that's supposed to make this next generation so special is the fact that we're going to have instantaneous load times, and additionally, probably a lot more 4K games, which typically means bigger files, right? I mean, if you're installing a bunch of 4K assets, beautiful, crystalline, photorealistic stuff, that is going to take up a lot of storage space. Space. And a lot of people have been curious, mostly because we are getting so much information now about the Xbox Series X storage. Right now, a bunch of people are actually getting their hands on it for the first time. You can see this is Jeff Grubb. Uh, you know, he's he's a big old writer. He was him posing with his console. What a jerk. No, I love you, Jeff Grubb. But a lot of people now have been curious because we know that there are a bunch of people over in Japan and it sounds like in Europe who are currently going hands on with the PlayStation 5. This is an actual picture. This is a real Japanese YouTuber. Uh, I don't know his name. I don't speak Japanese, but hey, look, he has a PlayStation 5, a real one. And whenever there starts being events like this, stuff slips out. It's always an accident. People don't do it intentionally, but... What's been interesting is these pictures have just appeared. Now, this is incredibly important. This looks like, I think, Russian, right? This is Russian. Now, this is showing us all the storage space. And this number here is what is important. 660 gigabytes. Now, this is translating it here for us. The Xbox Series X uses a total of one terabyte of storage, which when you remove the operating system, because remember, these consoles are still computers. They have to actually have like all the core programming installed on there like you typically would. That leaves a remaining amount of 802 gigs. Still pretty decent. Whereas now, with the PlayStation 5, it's always been a little bit bizarre, but it's been confirmed that the PlayStation 5 has 825 gigabytes of raw storage, and now we know that it is, because of the operating system, 664 gigs of storage. That is tiny. Now, it may not sound tiny. You may be saying, okay, 600 gigs ain't too bad. Well, during the course of this video, what I've been doing is I'm secretly installing one of the biggest PlayStation 4 games that exists, which is Call of Duty Warzone. So, real quickly here, let's look at the raw file size of Call of Duty Warzone. Now, I just installed the latest update. This is with the current gen patches as of today, which is October 3rd. This file size on a PlayStation 4 game is 162 gigabytes, which means that going back to this clip here, that means that if we were to try and install this game onto this console, it'd take up you know, a lot that take up a fifth of the total storage space. No, almost a fourth of the total storage space with a singular game. Now, I'm glad that we're getting a chance to see all this different like UI storage menu stuff, but I am a little bit nervous. Now, part of the reason I am a little bit taken aback by this is because I'm used to having a lot more storage than that. This is actually... This has been the, the special see-through blue uh, PlayStation 4. And as you can see, it has two terabytes of storage, which means I'm going to be going from two terabytes of storage down to 664 gigs. Now, let's actually talk about the raw numbers of PlayStation 5 games, right? I mean, this is also the important thing is that 
One of the things that some developers have been talking about is the idea that solid state drives are more efficient because you're able to actually execute a more efficient pattern of process. You can make game files smaller. Well, now we're starting to actually see some real file sizes being released. This is from the box art. Uh, now that these games are about to rele be released, um, they have to release the official box art. And if you read the fine print on the back of any PlayStation game, it actually tells you the size of it. Well, on the back of these two big launch games, these are two launch games coming to the PlayStation 5, we can see that Miles Morales is 50 gigabytes and Demon's Souls is 66 gigabytes, which combined, that means this is 116 gigs of your freaking file that would be taken up. Right there, this is already... It's, it's bizarre to think about the fact that, and somebody else has already kind of come up with this, you are not able to install every single launch game. Like every system, every, every game that's going to say PlayStation 5 on the box, you could not install them all. Things like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you couldn't just install that and all these games simultaneously. And I guess the reason that's just kind of baffling to me is because I enjoy being able to install a lot of games. You know what? I'm going to show you guys something I never show anybody, but check this out. We're just going to real funsies. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. So you're going to see this is actually my real PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 here. Now, whenever you go to your library, you can actually see everything you currently have installed. These are all the games I currently have installed. And now, obviously, the camera is focused on my face. So you can't see what, uh, like, every single one of these games are, like, one by one. But I'm doing this to illustrate the point that I like the ability to keep things installed. Now, I want to make it a point. These are installed games. This isn't just ones I own. This is every game that's currently installed on my hard drive. Uh... I like to keep a lot of tiny stuff like uh, Next Machina. I keep all the Final Fantasies installed at all times because I randomly like playing those a bunch. This is going to probably be completely impossible in the PlayStation 5. And I'm not disappointed because honestly, I guess I just need to try and set my expectations in check. But it is just baffling that the PlayStation 5 is going to have such a tiny amount of raw space. Now, keep in mind, especially that this is the disk drive edition we're getting right here, folks. This is a little bit of a mess, and I do think that people are going to be bumping into that wall a lot. I think that as this goes on, people are going to be talking about buying external storage for the PlayStation 5 way faster than any of us could have predicted. But these are just some off-the-cuff thoughts. Honestly, I just woke up early. I've been advertising. I finally built all my shelves again so I can have all uh, 1,000, 2,000 of my video games up on the wall alphabetically again. So uh, now whenever I want to grab a random game, uh, I can do that now. So I'm super, super happy. Good morning to everybody. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Now I'm going to go watch every single Lord of the Rings movie with some friends because apparently I'm insane. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Oh my god, I, I don't know how I'm going to stay awake for every freaking Lord of the Rings movie, but uh, it's going to be a fun day. I've always wanted to do this, honestly. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last, or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.